Setting up your website to display important information a visitor needs within a single click is the key to generating interest and support. In this video, we're going to cover some key features you can utilize to set your website up for success. Step 1. Select your website theme. NationBuilder comes with a variety of pre-built themes. When you first open them, they don't look like the beautiful demo sites that we display in our public theme gallery. Your website is launched with a generic theme and a few placeholder pages that are ready for you to edit. These include an About page, Events page, Contact page, Join page, and Volunteer page. To start, decide what you'd like your website to look like. Click on Website, Site Name, and click on Theme. Here you'll find the pre-built designs that are readily available for you. Once you find one you like, hover over it and click Use Theme. Now within the theme you've chosen, you can choose a style. Once you find a style you like, hover over it and click Use Style. Awesome, now you've selected your site's overall look. Step two, add a favicon, logo, and header image. You have the option to add several types of images to further customize your website. We recommend adding these to improve the user experience and make your site look professional. First up, we have favicons. Favicons are used to improve user experience and tab navigation in a web browser. Favicon combines the words favorite and icon. They're that little icon that appears next to the site name on a website's tab in a browser, as well as in the bookmarks list. Go to Website, select your site, click Site Settings, and Favicon to upload your Favicon image. Click Choose File. Select your image, and select Upload Image. Your image will display under the Upload Image button and on your website, and a new button, Remove Current Favicon, will appear if you'd like to remove it. Next, let's dig into logos. A logo is a graphic representation or symbol of your company, campaign, cause, etc. Navigate to Website, select your site, click Site Settings, and Logo to upload your logo. Select Choose File, click your logo file, and select Upload Image. Your image will display under the Upload Image button and on your website, and a new button, Remove Current Logo, will appear if you'd like to remove it. Finally, we have header images. Header images are large images that display at the top of a web page. It is one of the first images people see when visiting your website and as such should be something that aligns with your campaign, cause, or mission. Navigate to a website, select your site, click Site Settings, and Header Image to upload your header image. Click Choose File, select your image, and select Upload Image. Your image will display under the Upload Image button and on your website, and a new button, Remove Current Header Image, will appear if you'd like to remove it. Step 3. Add pages to your home page. Your home page is one page that all people who visit your site will see, so you want to make sure the most important information is represented on it. A good starting point will be making sure that you have an About section. An About page is created for you by default and can be edited to reflect your story. Feature a content sliders linking to two to three pages on your site that are current, and a home page tag set up that is displaying your calendar, blogs, contact information, or donation information. A good place to start is by editing your about page. To edit this page, navigate to website, select your site, and click on the edit button to the left of the page name. Then click on the content tab. You'll find we've provided you with some guidance text to get you started. Next, you may want to configure a featured content slider. Featured content sliders are a scrolling bar of images that link to other parts of your site from your home page. They provide a huge visual upgrade without the hassle of coding. You may have noticed them on the demos on NationBuilder's site. Featured content sliders can easily be swapped out to reflect the current needs of your organization. Need more people to read the blog? Create a featured content slider that redirects folks to the newest piece of news. Featured content sliders live at website, select your site, Click Edit next to the page you want to add one on, Settings, and Featured Content Sliders. You'll notice we've created an example slider for you. But for each photo, enter a label. Give it a headline. This will display on the actual image to encourage clicks. Link it to the page to feature and to the page slug in this box. For example, if I want to feature my blog page, I would just type blog into the box. Choose your image. Click Save Featured Content Slider. All photos you add to the slider will display at the bottom of the page. 
You can reorder images by holding down your cursor on the image you'd like to move and drag it to a new spot. Delete images by clicking on the arrow and select Delete. Lastly, let's talk about adding a home page tag. Many times you want to feature the latest blog post and the most recent upcoming event under the main content on your home page. Or perhaps you want to display a petition or contact form. This is easy to do. If you're using a current stock theme and are using a basic page type for your home page, you can easily add a home page widget by adding the page tag home page to any page under your page, settings, page settings, tags. Once you've typed in home page, click save page. To remove an excerpt from the home page, simply remove the tag home page from the page. The home page excerpts are sorted by the most recently published pages first. To change their order, you can simply change the published dates of the pages corresponding to these excerpts via page settings. Now your site is set up for maximum success and supporter engagement.